guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. We're going to do an August currently inked. Um, still working out filming um, at my, in this new way. So hopefully this is right. It's super windy outside. I don't know if it's about to storm. So hopefully that's okay as well. <clears throat> so July currently inked took a few incarnations. That was kind of first and then I redid it. Um, and then I actually ended up inking up some more as the month went on. So I'm going to talk about it. It's going to be a little bit more disjointed compared to other times. First up, favourites from this month, without a doubt, would have to be the Twisby Eco with Opera Rose. That's continuing. Sorry, I'm doing this on my lunch break. Someone's calling me. Um, that is continuing on to this month. I've got uh, like half left and I, I actually wanted to bring it across two months. So really excited. I don't have any more of that sample left. Another favourite, um, I think definitely the, the dominant industry is Tuna Grey. Um, I kind of realised, and I'll get to this in a second, that I, I don't enjoy writing with the Twisby Go in the broad nib. Um, and as much as I love this colour, I, I, fi I find that this pen uncomfortable. And I actually ended up selling a bunch of pens. So that was important to kind of learn. I then also, um, just at work, was just doing some different inking as well. Um, I put the Goulet pen nib on my Jin Hao and have been exploring that and it was amazing. I really enjoyed that. Um, so I think I'm definitely going to keep a Goulet nib on one or both of my Jin Hao 82s moving forward. I also just wanted to see the difference and I, I do have a video with this to see what the broad nib was like. Interestingly, I preferred this broad nib to the Twisby one. I, I had bought one of the Caco retractable and I actually I filmed a video and then the pen just broke it was a cheap pen um so I actually don't have that I chucked it out it wasn't repairable so that's kind of where we are um and that brings us to August um eight pens inked up so what I'm going to do is I'll go through them and then I'll just show you I've kind of sold quite a few pens and a little bit of ink um and so I'll, I'll just talk through that but what I don't remember is I don't have my thing to write in currently inked because why would I be prepared hang on have a looky loo okay Let's have a looky loo in here. So, do I usually do my little swirly thing? No. That's for new pen days. All right, so start off with a bang. This is the Jinhao 82 Pale Blue. This has the Goulet Pens Extra Fine Yerva Number no. 5 nib on it. It's still the, the Jinhao nib. Um, I just really love this nib on this pen. I do have a little bit of ink on the section there and a little bit in so I need to look into sealing a bit more but really enjoying this the way that I've kind of inked pens up this week if you watch my inky thoughts video then you'll kind of know this was coming if I remember I'll put it up in the cards now was I was just looking at you know saturated and non-saturated rated versions of the same color this first pairing isn't an exact match of that but when it comes down to it these are also arbitrary rules so this is The Jin Hao 82, and you know what I need to think about, is I always run out of space. <clears throat> Pale blue, and I'm just going to write that it's a Goulet pen extra fine, and this is inked with Diamine Monroe's hat.
Now, hopefully, I'm not sure if you can see, but even with this extra fine nib, that gold sheen comes up a bit on the J there. Let's see how it looks in the swatch. So that is my first pen for the month of August. Next up, we have the Opus 88 in Picnic Blue. This has a medium nib, and this is inked with Troublemaker Milky Ocean. Um, I have been told by a couple um, of people, I know Simone let me know, and it does ring true. Oh, my God, it's such a dry ink, um, which is unfortunate because it is quite beautiful, but holy moly. It's a dry ink, so just something, oh my god, can you hear that wind? Something to keep in mind if you're thinking about inking up a pen with it. It's beautiful, but really dry. Um, and I guess that's more purple and that's blue, but hey, whoop, why can't I get that on? Next up, first time using this pen, this is the Le Bon Rosa in Burgundy. It's got a medium nib on it. Um, I do have a, a new pen day video about this. Afterwards, there, there was, I don't know, there was some gunk or something in the nib. So I have um, cleaned it out again. I did some brass sheets and just a little bit of tuning. Um, and it definitely is writing nicer. But I can see a little bit of ink still. So after this month i think i want to give it another really good clean but even in the little bit of not repair but tuning and finessing work i've done i have already been able to notice a big difference i say that and then it hard starts there we go so there is still some finessing to be done this is the laban rosa in burgundy medium nib i mean look at the difference in medium nibs compared to those two and this has diamine merlot in it which i just think is such a beautiful ink i'm so excited to be able to try this ink this sample was given to me by shauna from serial nana you have to ch check out her video her videos are my favorite at the moment so just how beautiful is that pen as well it feels so amazing in the hand it's got such a nice weight to it the nib is gorgeous I just think there might be some old ink in there the, the I bought this pen second hand that's why I'm saying that next up another favorite this is my pens by Casey primary manipulation three this has the extra fine nib on it this pen I love so much so so much pens this is an extra. and this ink is sailor ink studio two five two um i always feel my i feel my currently inked I, I try and use all the pens at least once so i can just talk a little bit about it and this it's just beautiful ink is kind of similar to cat guards um you know in the same family it's beautiful you can see even in an extra fine nib i'm getting bits of shading it's like the perfect amount of a fine writing line but a wetness to the ink this pen is so comfortable i if i know i have lots to write about i'm always going for this one because it is just so comfortable in the hand uh definitely fast becoming one of my favorite pens Next up, this is a frequent flyer around here. It's just it's my go-to work pen. Um, this is the Moonman Mahjong A1. Um, and because last month I had Tuna Grey in there, this month I decided to go with um, Ginger Chicken. And I'm really enjoying it so far. It's quite nice. Some dry inks that are on the drier side. Um, can I write and talk at the same time? And I'll just write it here. Pens, oh, inks, sorry, that are 
on the drier side. I think you can tell in this pen, not that it hard starts or anything, but you can just feel it. This is perfect. It flows so nicely. Um, really, really loving it. And I really like this ink. I'm really liking this ambery color at the moment. And then following with that, we saw this one last month. This is the the opera, the opera rose. So I'm trying to think of like what updates do I have? It's been a really shit week, guys. Um, I have been in the process for applying for a job for four months, internal as well. It's been a really full on process. Um, I finally interviewed it for it last week. It was going through like a succumbent process and then applying and no, no, no. I interviewed for it last week. Next up, we have the Pilot E95S and this is inked with Diamine Safari. And on Tuesday of this week, I was informed I didn't get it. And I was informed of that uh, via email, which really, really sucked and didn't make me feel great. Um, and there was no feedback as such provided in my email. I was basically, it was, you weren't successful. The person who got it has years of experience in this role in another division. So basically it's a transfer. Hope that makes you feel better. Literally quoting, hope that makes you feel better. Um, yeah, so it's been really shit. I just haven't felt very valued and felt embarrassed, just, you know, because I was at work when I got the email and just trying to navigate my way out of that um, and, you know, try and not kick myself that I don't want to feel like I've wasted four months because I wasn't applying for other things. I was really focused on this. This was my dream job. It's, like, always been my career goal. So, yeah, it hasn't been the best week, but at least I've got pretty pens to look at instead. There's not much to say about this. It's just beautiful. It's a beautiful pen. I'm really excited to use this ink in it. The flow is is incredible. Last but not least, Traveller's Company, the Brass Fountain Pen, and this is inked with Troublemaker Kelp Tea. Now, I have had a couple of hard starts with this ink in this pen, so interested to see what happens. Oh, it's coming out fine. No issues at all. This is actually the best it's written with. It's Troublemaker, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so maybe, I don't know, this pen's a lot happier. Though when I, after I inked it up that day and the next day, it really wasn't happy. So that is writing a lot nicer. So that <clears throat> is my my currently inked for this month. I'd love to know what you think. What are you most excited about? But those who didn't really work as a pairing, but I'm happy to continue. But you can kind of see what I'm going for there. Um, using these two at work at the moment mainly. Um, but really, yeah, really enjoying this for the couple times I've used it. This one, there's just something a little bit off with this pen that I need to fix, but I'm getting there and wanting to use these two more because I'm really excited. Like That's just such a beautiful colour. So the last thing I want to show you before I go is, I just want to make sure that's dry, is I decided to do a, a bit of a cull and just look at what um, pens I, I'm not enjoying, wanting to move on, etc. So I sold one, two, three, four, five, six. I sold seven pens. I throw, sold three bottles of ink. And then I made a big bag of ink samples and I wanted to give them away at the Melbourne pen meetup, which was last weekend. Um, as I said before, the Twisby go in broad. I just am not enjoying it. The Franklin Christoph pen I absolutely love, 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 loved. Um, but it's just not comfortable. Um, it, it, hurt. it had a quite a, st a steep step up and it was just hurting. These two, the Blue Jew and the Parker 17, I bought when I bought this secondhand um, and they were a bit kind of impulse buys. The Blue Jew needs a bit of tinkering and I just don't have time. And the Parker, again, I just didn't do enough research. So I was like, I want to give them to someone who actually use them. The next one hurt the most. It's the Pens by Casey, my broad nib one. 
it's such a beautiful pen. It's just too big for me. And, and I just, I want it to go somewhere where it actually will get use. Um, and then again, the pen BBS 308, it's just not a pen I reach for. So again, wanted to give that to someone who would actually use it. And then a little bit of ink. So it actually takes my current collection down to, I think, 15 pens, um, which is relatively small, but I am excited to, to get to know these pens more um, and just maybe think a little bit more carefully as I grow my collection, really what that looks like. Um, how long oh, I've been, I feel like I've been rambling on. So I'll leave you with that. That's my currently inked for this month. Um, I'd love to know what you're, what you are or having up for August. Let me know in the comments below. Um, and always, as always, thank you so much for watching. I, I love these videos and I love being able to hang out with you guys. So I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Thank you.